after covering the stock market crash since early 2021, even before we really started crashing in a major way on the indexes, our innovation was above $122. And I was really, you know, earlier than most people on YouTube whenever I started uh, talking about this in 2021. And I'm sure many of you are sick and tired of those videos, of all those videos on YouTube saying the world's gonna end or a 2008 style financial crisis or the stock market is gonna be flat for 20 years. I'm sure many of you are sick of that. And I personally believe that we are nearing the end or the final stage of the stock market crash where we could have a bigger you know decline from here and then we can find some type of a bottom and then make a recovery and maybe go back to normal things are not going to be like they used to be before index investing is not going to work where you just passively invest in an index fund i believe stock picking is going to matter much more than just you know buying and holding forever on an uh, index fund in my opinion but things are going to normalize and i believe we're going to find some type of a bottom in the next three to six months which is why if you notice in my videos i have been focusing a little bit more on some bullish things for stocks now why am i doing that because i want to condition myself and you guys who have been watching my videos to start thinking about the positive case for stocks instead of only focusing on the negatives because if we only focus on the negative and keep watching all those videos of a stock market crash which is true and i still believe we're gonna make a new 52 weeks low although i could be wrong but i still believe the market has a long way uh, down to go but i believe it's nearing the end and we have to start focusing on the positives as whenever it's really time to start buying you know your favorite stocks in a major way you have to look at some positives and be able to tell that it's going to get better six to twelve months from now therefore i'm going to you know invest in this company which is you know going to be much better six to twelve months from now but if we keep focusing on those negative things and think of no positive case for stocks we're not going to see it and you're going to either trade the bottom or either miss the bottom after patiently waiting all this time since early 2022 i don't want this to happen to me and i don't want this to happen to you guys my subscribers who have been uh, watching my videos so i am starting to condition myself of thinking a little bit more positive around certain things so i can really see what's going on i don't want to be stuck in a bubble of every everything being bearish and we have you know the worst decline in history which might actually uh, not happen and i noticed many of you in the comments are over 80 to 90 percent cash and i don't believe this is good for for anyone as i said you know when we went under 3500 i said it was a good time to buy although we didn't go there for long but hopefully if i'm right we're going to go back down under 3500 and i believe it could make an amazing buying opportunity all right now looking at the s p 500 again it couldn't be more perfect as i said you know if i want to draw a picture it will not be even close to that we touched the trend line again and i underestimated you know how strong and powerful the algorithm could be in in the stock market how we just touched the trend line and we went back down and i believe this could be the last leg down where we could make a new 52 week low and then find uh, some type of a bottom but there are some things that are happening that are starting to get bullish for stocks i'm not saying the market has bottomed but as i said we have to start thinking of some type of a bullish case to condition ourselves to really buy the dip in a major way that could come in the next three to six months and one of them are yields declining the 10 year which also contributes to the discount rate meaning if yields are lower you have a lower discount rate and therefore you have higher valuation on the DCF and many stocks that investors actually value so as the 10 year is going down this is actually good for stocks and it's likely going to keep going down as I believe it actually looks like it topped I don't know if we could maybe break it and go to you know four and a half or five percent I don't believe so investors are buying bonds and I don't even know why maybe because inflation is starting to uh, cool off but again yields going down are good for stocks crude oil going down is good positive news for stocks as you know many uh, stocks especially like fedex and ups they had many costs around energy around crude oil around natural gas all of that is coming down which is really going to help the consumer in having more money to spend but it's also going to help companies margins especially companies like amazon like walmart like target all of those will really benefit in a major major way uh, with uh, something like uh, crude oil 
all right so crude oil going down is also positive news for stocks now you have the two year which is very interesting the two year is kind of a future measure for what the federal funds rates is going to be and as you could see over the past you know uh, pretty much 10 to 12 months it has been going up like never before and now we're starting to decline and it's starting to flatten out which is basically saying that the fed may not hike rates over four and a half percent or 4.2 percent which is indicating that there's a decent chance the fed might pause in january now that might not happen and i don't believe it's going to happen but this is what the bond market is saying and this is also could be positive news for stocks going into uh, the future all right now looking at what happened in 2008 and we talked about this before again but as you could see this is the gdp growth rate by quarter of course 2008 was negative and the entire pretty much 2009 was negative except the last quarter we had you know negative 1.87 percent in the first quarter negative three percent in the second in the third so we had pretty bad negative gdp numbers in 2009 yet the stock market was going up and many people and i remember very well were surprised i mean what's going on why are stocks going up Whenever we had such bad GDP rates, we had such, you know, bad economics, bad ISA manufacturing number. Well, we had all those bad news and yet the stock kept going up. And we could actually see that happening in 2023, in my opinion, if we finish this entire market crash by, you know, mid-May or around the June. So around five to six months from now, which is not really far away. And then maybe we could still have very negative news in the second half of 2023. But stocks could keep going up anyway way and maybe you know starting to recover i don't believe the recovery is going to be as fast as in 2008 i believe it could take a little bit longer but we could start to recover in 2023 despite all the bad news that could we that we could potentially have uh, in the future and again we talked about this before but the analysts are still expecting 230 eps for 2023 and i believe this is extremely high especially as oil is going down and energy is not going to contribute as much as it normally does to eps growth but let's assume we do get the 200 eps which i'm talking about you have other firms like morgan stanley having even a lower number of 195 but if we do get around the 200 eps and we do trade at a 15 multiple this is 3000 on the s p if we take a 16 multiple this is 3200 on the s p which is really a fair uh, number in my opinion so if we do have the next leg down we bottom around 3200 i believe we could actually have a decent chance of uh, recovering from here something like what happened in 2008 despite all the bad news and i believe many investors are going to you know miss buying you know somewhere around the bottom at least now many other investors are saying we're going to go to 2500 or 2300 and they tell me that i'm not bearish enough well as jeremy grantham said that the market has already crashed much more than we actually think mainly if you adjust it to inflation adjusted to inflation we crashed much more than you can actually imagine on the s p 500 so if we adjust this target to inflation a 3200 level or a 3000 level is a very fair number uh, for the s p 500 in my uh, opinion which could create an amazing buying opportunity in my opinion and especially somewhere around 3500 or under but i don't believe anyone should fomo you have stocks like amazon making a new 52 weeks low you know every single day i have been telling people not to fomo and many of you uh, listen to me but i want to leave you with one simple saying before i end this video and this is that i've been seeing on youtube many titles and many videos which i don't really agree with which they've been saying you know titles like don't buy stocks or buy stocks this is like all stocks are the same which is really not uh, true in my opinion you have many stocks like some of the oil stocks and the coal stocks actually were green in 2022 despite what the federal reserve was doing so you should not rely on the federal reserve or whenever they cut rates for you to just go and buy stocks if you find an undervalued stock maybe you find amazon or google or any undervalued stock you open a position anyway you don't just rely on what the fed is saying so you can go and buy stocks trying to pick 
fix the exact bottom. I believe not all stocks are equal. There are plenty of stocks making new 52 weeks high. And I could tell you them in my next video if you like. I don't own any of them, you know, unfortunately. But I've been seeing it and my reason to say is not all stocks are equal. So you don't have to wait for the Fed to cut rates or to do whatever to just go all in. If you find an individual stock that you believe is undervalued, I would really encourage you to just open a position, even though we were not at a 3200 level on the S&P, if you really believe in the company uh, in the long term. All right. So this is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button and maybe consider subscribing. So I hope to see you in another video.